Interacting with the latest robot dolls, whether it's through conversation, thanks to built-in neural networks, or something more, is always fascinating. Gradually, robots are evolving beyond mere toys, especially as manufacturers strive to create increasingly realistic models. In the near future, these robots will become so lifelike that distinguishing them from actual humans will be impossible, ushering in a new era in human history. Many men may find themselves not needing real women as robot dolls, indistinguishable from humans and capable of interacting just as well if not better, to take their place. In this video, we'll explore when this new phase in human life will begin and whether robots can truly replace living women. By 2050, according to British researchers Ian Pearson, robot dolls could replace women in society. In his report, Pearson outlines a future where shops, clubs, workplaces, and even adult establishments with robots become commonplace. Machine made of metal, silicone, and software could integrate into people's lives at a level comparable to living beings, sometimes making it hard to tell them apart from real humans. Pearson's report, supported by a British company specializing in robot dolls, suggests that the future of humanity may lie in the hands of robotic humanoids. These manufacturers dream of creating a human-like robot doll that reciprocates with its partner, can engage in conversations on various topics, interact in many ways, and never refuse anything unless it violates the law. While some people may find such interactions crude and off-putting, as the robot is merely an imitation of life and not life itself, we are increasingly interacting with technology rather than people in many areas of our lives. For example, on the iPhone, there's Siri or we can hail a taxi using a chatbot. Could technology soon play a more significant role in interactions with living people? Researcher Julie Carpenter, who has been studying human-robot interaction for many years, believes that while there are many different types of robots and dolls, the idea of a machine that can fulfill all desires is still far from reality. Carpenter notes that it's essential to discuss the ethical and legal issues that robots bring because one day they will appear and there will be a market for them. The industry of hyper-realistic robot manufacturers has been working on a more than just service characteristics. They are also focusing on linguistic abilities. According to their company website, robot dolls like Roxy from True Companion are always ready to talk and can be said to be sassy or shy, at least in English. The American firm Real Doll focuses on creating dolls with which their owners can have conversations. The new models are expected to remember information heard from the owner and express pleasure through language modules. Plans also include creating special Oculus Rift virtual reality glasses. Currently, robot dolls are more than just rubber dolls are a niche product with an average cost of around 6,000 euros. Therefore, the typical consumers of these expensive dolls are wealthy individuals. In the future, robots could be used in museums, hospitals, offices, and government institutions to offer a client safe, cost-effective, and fear-free interactions. The information received from robots would be highly accurate, and the efficiency of such interactions would be maximized. However, this also means the complete absence of human element. A robot is a robot and cannot truly empathize with a person. Person. It would coldly fulfill its duties without genuinely experiencing the emotions that humans feel. Many people value live interactions and need their problems to be understood and shared. For these individuals, interacting with a robot will be a challenging experience. If the creators of such robots can teach them to closely mimic human emotions, the potential for their use could be entirely different. The resemblance between robots and humans is seen as a problem by many as it raises concerns about the authenticity and quality of interactions. Anger on Robots Catherine Melhorn, a philosopher from Stuttgart, worries that expressing violent fantasies on robots could lead to these actions being transferred into real life. She argues that for the satisfaction of violent tendencies, it's important to imagine that one has contact not just with a robot, but with a real person to whom violence is being done. 
At the same time, violence towards robots doesn't necessarily correlate with real violence. The concern is whether the normalization of such behavior towards robots might desensitize individuals and increase the likelihood of them acting violently towards real people. This issue becomes even more complex when considering robots designed to resemble children. The ethical and psychological implications of such interactions need careful considerations to prevent potential harm to society. However, it's essential to separate legal and ethical issues. Not everything that people find immoral should lead to legal punishment. There's another significant aspect often highlighted not just by representatives of various religions but also by skeptics and scientists. For instance, Dr. Kathleen Richardson from the Montfront University in the UK believes that ordinary human relationships could be greatly affected by new technologies. She argues that artificial relationships will eventually replace natural ones. This concern emphasizes the need to consider the broader societal impacts of increasingly realistic robots and their potential to alter human interactions fundamentally. The ethical implications of such a shift are profound as it raises questions about the value of genuine human connections and the consequences of their possible decline. Kathleen Richardson warns that reducing relationships to mere psychological responses will erode romantic feelings, which could be detrimental to humanity, fundamentally challenging the roles of men and women. Researchers Julie Carpenter believes that robots will continue to look like robots for a long time. We will recognize them as robots if only because we purchased them as such. However, the process of integrating robots into human society is irreversible. Dozens of companies are already creating robots that are nearly indistinguishable from humans. While we're still far from replacing humans with these machines, it's clear that by 2050, the world will change dramatically. What seems like science fiction today will become a reality and robots will become a significant part of our society. Whether we like it or not, the robot doll industry is experiencing a boom thanks to its luxurious life-size dolls that look and feel just like real people made from high-quality materials and equipped with advanced features. Despite the huge global success of these realistic robotic humanoids, the future promises even more exciting developments. Many robot doll manufacturers and tech companies have begun integrating artificial intelligence into their products to provide users with even more authentic experiences. These advanced technologies are also driving the development of specialized models that can adapt to preferences and needs of their owners. These dolls are becoming not just physical objects but intellectual partners capable of enhancing their owner's quality of life through emotional and physical connections. In the future, we can expect even more realistic and intellectually advanced robot dolls that can meet diverse user needs and preferences. What do you think? Will robots be able to replace living women in the near future? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. See you next time!